Hi everyone, welcome back to Ears to the East, where um, recently Japan has become unbearably hot. And I suspect that the rest of the world is going there. I found out recently that, like, I, I think a couple of summers ago, like the UK hit forty degrees or something. That's um, obviously C. Oh yeah, that was that was last so, summer. That was like um, that was freaking unbearable. Like the UK is host to many great things, but hot weather is not one of them. It is awful here. It's not meant to be hot here. <laughs> I always just remember that you guys don't have air conditioning. Hey, <laughs> so. Uh, we decided that today, uh, we we haven't had any prep for this. We just decided, we were talking about the summer and everything, we're going to talk about the best summer jams, the music that we would like oh, to listen to yeah. in the summer. The summer, as you're boiling, what the best music is for that. Um, I did a video like similar to this a while ago, and I just I really wanted to do this as a conversation one, so I'm kind of excited to just sit down and chat about this. Because like summery music i mean some people are really active at summer some people just want to chill out so there's different ways of looking at it so i'm gonna let you jump in first of all any bands or anything that you can think of that you'd say that is that is good music for the summer that's like outdoor summery music all right for, so for my first band is going to be the legendary scandal and the reason why is when i think of some summer songs i always think of that one particular music video and again I'm shit with song names, but I'm so stamp. sorry. Stamp. It's got to be Stamp. <laughs> when they're playing and they're playing guitar and it's just, it's obviously like a really, really hot day with like the most fake rain like going over the... Oh! Oh, okay. That's not what I was thinking. All right. All right. All so, right. but uh, I, I, I just remember, like Scandal's music videos, just like, they're just really fun and summery and... And just, I could just imagine Scandal kind of just like rocking it out in like a big park or like a big open fjord and it just being like a really, really good time. So yeah, not, so, not, not something that's like too heavy, but not something that's like too soft, like a nice in between, between her. Um, so, so yeah, any, any, any excuse to see Scandal, I suppose. So do you just want to see, do you just want to see them in the rain? Because watching a rainy video will cool you down. It's like you get rock and roll, but you feel cool. Yeah, down it, it's still rock and roll, but it's kind of like, it gives you those summery beats, but with nice cool rain kind of down. Yeah, man. That, that, that's what the gig's going to be. There's just going to be stand, scandal on the stage with fucking shit ton of sprinklers everywhere while they play. I always wonder when I see that video. So I, I can't help it. My brain always goes towards, damn, you're lucky you're not getting electrocuted, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, know. You know it's a mime. You know it's a mime, and you know it's fake rain. But you're still watching it, like, god damn! Try that in real life. Someone's gonna die. Like, you get electrocuted by the microphone or something. But luckily, Scandal managed to pull off 17 more years <laughs> after that, and they're still good. Woo! Oh yeah, man. So uh, Scandal, yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I would go towards. Do you know the song Stamp? It's like mm, I always yeah. said. It kind of has the vibe of like it has the vibe of Weezer. Um, but like it's with the the sound of scandal, um, and just the whole music is then like it, this sort of like faded, colorful music, you know, colorful but low contrast, all nostalgic. Them sort of dancing down the street and then driving in an open top, and then Rena just jumping off the end of a pier. I was like, this, yeah, this is some summer music. Although <laughs> I think one more time is actually probably the more summery song, but Stamps' video is like super summery. So yeah. yeah, I think Scandal Summer's got to happen. Scandal Summer's got to happen. So what, but, what what about you? I know this is your idea for this video, so I know you got a couple mm -hmm. of bands in line. So come on. I'll be honest, actually, when I first suggested this to you, um, like when I first just clicked, hey, let's do that. I didn't have a band in mind, but then one came to mind. The true summer. Well, actually, this is the true seasonal band because this band have songs about the winter where they're like very much in the snow and like looks like a snow globe. They've got a couple of those. But they're also big, big, big into their summertime vibes. Oh, oh God, here we go. He's got, he's got, this is where he pulls out. He goes into the cupboards. He's prepared. Does any, <laughs> anyone know who we're talking about? Anyone know who the ultimate summertime band is? Oh, I can't even see on this one, to be fair. The, the image is blowing my eyes. on your shit. screen, isn't it? All right. Probably everyone at home for us. So this band, like... I just suddenly realized, I honestly hadn't realized this until just before we like, press record. This is the most season oriented band, all right? Let me just break it down for you. So, Silent Siren. Now, they have Koi no Yuki, which is like a winter song. They actually have a couple of very wintry songs. Their most famous song is like, it's called August Night, if you translate it. So, that's an autumn song. 
And then the number of summer songs they have, like um, Bang Bang Bang, if anyone's seen the video for that, that is totally a summer song. Uh, beach Sand, uh, Bee Sand, which is basically Beach Sandal, that's a summer song. They got so many songs where they're on the bloody beach, it's beyond belief. A uh, 19 summer note, it literally says summer in the title. You know, Silent Siren are the ultimate season band but boy oh boy do they jump in on some of that hardcore summer music uh someone left to let me know i can't off the top of my head think of a spring song but i bet they got a spring song i didn't realize this before silent siren are the ultimate seasonal band um yeah so i i would go i don't know b san bang 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 19 summer note although the video for 19 summer note has the creepiest looking guy i've ever seen in my life in he's like he's supposed to look like the generic love interest but if anyone doesn't see it, see the 19 Summer Note video. There's just this one guy and his stare looks like it looks like he's just come <laughs> off of a wanted poster. And it's supposed to look romantic, but he's like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, bro, no, no. <laughs> he's going to murder someone. Um, but still, summery band, summer vibes throughout. Um, yeah, Silent Siren. Uh, yeah, they've got to come in pretty high. I can't imagine. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I know you're less of a Silent Siren person, but did mm. you get that vibe from Silent Siren? Um. Oh, he's 50-50. It's 50-50. It, 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 to be honest with you, it's something I've never really thought about. So for you to, to hear you talk about them that way, obviously the fact between the winter songs and the summer songs and stuff like that, that's um, that's something I didn't know about. So, um. Yeah, I, I, on that one, I'm just going to take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I appreciate that because I can blind you with confusion and then just claim I was right all along. As I told him something he didn't know, so therefore I'm right. <laughs> Two people agree. Um, so... <laughs> again, right, next... again, Silent Siren is one of those bands, kind of like Trident, where I've, I, I know about them, I've dabbled in them, but I, I need to go down the rabbit hole a lot more with them. Um, probably like the the one negative thing about my channel, and like I know it does a lot of people's heads in that when I pick a band, I take forever with that like one particular band. Like I like to like cover all bases, go down the history. Like so, when I move from like band to band, I can be pretty fucking slow at it instead of just like taking <laughs> in about fifty million bands all at the same time. Ah, uh, you should, you should though. You should definitely give a little bit more time. Well, Trident, I think, would be for your taste. Trident are just like epic. Silent Siren, I, I don't know if it's so much your thing, but I think Silent Siren is such a like important part of the pop side of uh, Japan. That um, yeah, yeah, definitely, anyone showing love to Silent Siren is doing a good thing. So um, yeah. All right, what's the what's the next what's the next summer jam? All right, okay. So this one could be a little bit controversial, but I'm going uh, to do uh, it anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Because uh, because when I think of this band, I just think of like a beach. And you're not going to say kids, who are you? No, no. <laughs> and, I, and, I, I, and I just think of like beach, big massive gig. Everybody kind of all drinking drinks and just kind of watching them dance and stuff like that. And um, AKB forty eight. Oh, AKB. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. That just, that is like, you're just like all in oh, that, Japanese idol what's, dance kind of group. What's that group that, the, uh, so everyone kept on recommending this around when I did the last award, uh, Niji no Conquistador. And like all of, they're the one who are like, all of their like videos of them like in bikinis and stuff running around on the beach and stuff and i was like what the hell am i watching <laughs> so, so they seem to be they seem to be pretty popular as well so i think maybe there are just some idol groups there are like some very summary idol groups but yeah akb um uh, you also have to pick you also have to pick a beach set and just to fit them all in because it's fucking loads of <laughs> 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 so they just appear like a fucking invasion force it's like uh, akb have taken up the entire coast they're just yeah. standing shoulder to shoulder and they've taken over the entire coast out of a small country <laughs> but yeah it's but just something different something summery flowery um i, I just see that as like a really really good time because see everybody like them dancing and just everybody having fun like in a kind of like a mm. beach, beach setting uh everybody having their ice creams and drinks and shit like that and i just feel like that could be like a really really good time man yeah, I'd, I'd be up for that. I think that's kind of a cool suggestion. 
I think that kind of light idle music that sometimes maybe gets a little bit overlooked. Mm. I think that's the kind of setting where it'd be nice because in a way you can just kind of like let it sink into the atmosphere. You know, that kind of music's not on a hot day when you don't want to get like overly into like headbanging. You just want to enjoy something. To yeah, it, tap it, your foot. exactly. If I'm thinking of like summer things, like I kind of want to go a little bit out the box. Like, like hypothetically, if I was like in Japan during yeah. the summer months, like that's the kind of things I would want to go and do. Like I would something mm. i can only experience in japan like if that was yeah. something that was going like i'd be like oh yeah i'd be dragging your ass to that one let's go to beach to go and see this idol group um you know and howard would look at me and go like me beach <laughs> so hey 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 hey, hey. Look, if i if i go to the beach all the other guys will be jealous that's the only problem all right Ex all exactly good. exactly me, yeah. me and howard will be like the two like freaking white guys on the beach with like both hats on so our bald heads don't burn. And when <laughs> when we say white we mean white we mean white <laughs> so, so the sun will be like ah oh, you're blinding me hey at least you, you live in japan at least you look like a little bit tanned. i'm a, i'm like typical uk white man. I was, I, i'm not really sure i think it's just because every time we do these it's daytime for you and it's nighttime for me it makes me look a little bit more sort of like you know tanned and a little bit more toned than i really am and actually like you know i go out in the daytime and i'm just reflecting light back at people um <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear yeah i think that's actually a good idea like a um akb sort of like i don't know much about nijinok conquistor but they seem to be a summertime group something like that mm. all right um summertime bands uh so for me i think you know one of the things like it seems really weird but you want it to be something colorful you know yeah um there's something about that something about groups who just come on stage and they're super colorful now i'm gonna throw in one that perhaps would be a, i think this is probably one i'd expect you to say so i'm probably about to steal one of your choices yeah i was about to say i've already got my next one lined up so don't be going to steal my next one oh shit i think i'm about to steal your next one so my next one i want something colorful but i'm gonna go a bit heavy i'm gonna go a little bit shall we say interestingly experimental I'm going to go for something which is always bright and fun and full of summer joy. Something that maybe would look at other people dancing and go, what the fuck? I'm going to go for Hannah Beer. Okay, that's not my choice. You're, you're okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was genuinely you're, you're that was. You're good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think something about Hannah Beer is like, okay, yeah. So as a general, you know, I don't think summer, I don't automatically think metal because I'm usually like lying on the floor boiling. But if I was going to headbang and like dance around to something, you were going to mosh to something. I think like Hannah Beer, it's that kind of, it's that sheer zero fucks given mm. playfulness. It's the fact that they do concentrate on having like proper beats. You know, their songs have got like a summary beat to them. You can probably dance along to some of their songs as well. If, if you're going to get up and go crazy, I think Hannah Beer is that kind of band because... Uh, you know what's the summer about the summer's all about like you know just releasing it it's about that sort of catharsis it's about go a bit crazy that's kind of yeah that's i don't know how to be for me they got that i mean imagine again i'm going to your summer setting that you've provided again i mean i can imagine like uh we love sweets i mean yeah pardon me is a bit more of an intense song but it also has the sort of energy where you could just sort of like have a summertime fun to that um I don't know, just something about the whole energy of Hannah Beer. I, I know they do a lot of those videos where it's kind of like a very angry face, but there's always a smile behind it. You know, there's always this feeling of fun. And I don't know. I can I, see I that. I can like, see that. I can see summertime that. music, you know? There you go. There you go. Hannah Beer. Hannah Beer. I, I, I can see that. Like, Hannah Beer for me, like, like, and you just made it sound like way more romantic uh than i than i would probably think of it for, for, for me it would be small gig lots of air conditioning and lots of hot and sweaty men in shorts probably all coming out the gig at the same time like <laughs> uh, when i when i think about how to be a show um <laughs> but um yeah no i like i like your version of it i like it was uh, again a lot more romantic i like it <laughs> <laughs> so hey, well, look at wherever your mind goes towards us we <laughs> So while you're enjoying your small club full of hot, sweaty men, um, summertime vibes. No. Uh, so what what group are we going to put in next? Okay, so 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 I may I may be slightly slightly cheating with this one. The season may be slightly out of summer, but 
Uh oh, here but, we go. But, but, already, me, already bucking the rules. What is it about you and cheating? I know, but but this this for me would mark the beginning of something. I hope to hell here. I've got my seasons correct because it could be the other oh, way around. I and, I fucking, and, I fucking, and I fucking hope not. But obviously, for me, we talk about summer and obviously how awesome it is to have like summer things. But for me, one of the things that like really kind of come in is when I think of like Japan at like full like cherry blossom bloom when like the trees are done it looks absolutely beautiful marking obviously the beginning of summer when they start to bloom as well or when they start to fall basically but at its peak just before summer so maybe maybe not in summer but just uh, no, no, it's okay. it's okay. we're gonna ride with this we're gonna ride with this is not so far out as to be a problem okay, right, okay. but it, while the while the sakura trees and all that are proper looking beautiful and full bloom for me we're gaki band open concert oh yes all yes, those yes. trees in full bloom around you all the pink lights and stuff hitting mm. off the cherry blossoms as they're falling and wagaki band in an open air concert with the night sky and the stars would be for me yeah that, that's that's amazing. that's actually that's a really really good pick. you could even put um, the, the concert like maybe like a uh like like a, a temple or or something like that you know that, that's a very different type of summer and i really like mm -hmm. um so just to just give you the reference on the um sakura i'm sure there's different people see it a different way i think as a general like golden week almost marks the beginning of summer in a sort of weird way but um so the sakura i think is it's very much associated with the turning of the season mm. you know kind of like the opposite of when the the leaves fall off in the autumn um and so you know with the uh, it's seen as a turning of a season where uh, it's kind of, it is really, it's a spring thing more signifying the yeah. end of winter, but it, it signifies the weather improving and like the hot weather coming. So yeah, I, I, I I'm, I'm going to let that one go. If nothing that, else. I, I knew do... that was borderline. I knew that was like, that could fall. <laughs> but regardless of that, I think the idea of seeing Wagaki Ban in the summer is just so perfect anyway. I mean, that is just such a spot on, like, like you say, just like a summer night, you got like all the bugs chirping outside as you get, like the cicadas chirping outside as you get in the in the Japan, you know, stars in the sky, and then just Wagaki Ban plan. Yeah, that yeah. sounds freaking awesome. Yeah. Like you wouldn't yeah, need yeah. anything else. Just just some, like I said, some pink spotlights on the trees or whatever, the surrounding, mm. the atmosphere, just outside gig would be yeah for that well for that one it's more the atmosphere i said this a million times as well i said that's the one band i would have to see in japan if i ever go to japan wagaki band would take priority me even before love bites and big metal because i can see them in their full glory anywhere in the world but for wagaki band to experience them in japan for me that's like on the bucket list i agree i really want if their tickets weren't so uh, i mean i don't have the budget to afford their mm -hmm. kind of tickets but if i could i would i mean that's just like one of those bands where i'd love to see them live and they're just they're so quintessentially japanese but as you say they're also tied in with so much of that i mean they're another band like silent siren although totally different they have their seasonal songs you know they have mm -hmm. songs for the for the autumn for the winter um for the summer um you know, they, they are definitely, yeah, they're one of those bands, they've got the seasonal stuff where they could play anything and it would be great, but they've also got those, like, summertime bangers that would be amazing as well. Uh, yeah, but spring as well, like the um, the Sakura season, they're definitely that band. But yeah, I, I'm I'm totally willing to let that slide because that one, I think that was a great <laughs> choice. I think that's a really great choice, actually. I'm totally on board with that. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, all right, so, next choice. Um, to be honest, when I think of like summertime and I think of happy music, a lot of the time I want to veer a little bit towards something with a slightly different vibe. So I'm going to kind of, kind of go for a double header choice here because Ooh. I'm more looking at a certain genre. Okay. Um, and because the artist I actually want to say, I think most people haven't heard of. So I'm going to use another one as like a, a, a backup. So the band I want to say is Oreska Band because Oreska Band really summery fun osaka based all female band they do ska music but with mm. like a pop and punk vibe behind it they got trumpets and everything full on ska lineup they are just a, if you listen to the song free now by them or wonderful mm. world it's just that is some proper pump you up summertime music ska vibes with all the japanese writing quality but in case you haven't heard of them a good backup for that is to think of Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra, which if you haven't heard Tokyo Ska Paradise mm. Orchestra, you need to get deeper into your Japanese music because they have like guests, they've done songs with 
everyone you know any like super famous artist in the last 20 years has had a song with them you know Aiko Puffy back in the day all the way up to Aina the end you know she did a song with them not so long ago um they have done songs with like everyone and they're just like legends in the Japanese <laughs> music scene and they're an instrumental ska group um and they just pop up on songs with people all the time so yeah for me uh I personally am vibing towards Oresuka Pan just because I love their complete band sound but if you just want something famous then get Tokyo Scar Paradise Orchestra to bring all their friends along and do a summertime gig that's the sort of thing you get like the smooth jazzy vibes and some of the slower songs then when their songs get pumped up it's got like the ska vibe where you just want to dance along <laughs> yeah yeah i uh, get get some of that um get some of that japanese ska things going on um i like that i yeah. like that check out if you already know Tokyo Scar Paradise Orchestra which i hope you do check out our Eska band, O-R-E-S-K-A band. Um, and if you haven't checked out Tokyo Scar Paradise Orchestra, just start there. Give yourself a present of like finding a true Japanese legend. I mean, with nice, that. nice. It's an interesting choice, though. I, I, I quite you, like that. Do you know any of those? Uh, I'm not too of... familiar with the band, but the orchestra themselves, I'm pretty sure I have come across them uh, at yeah, least once or twice. Too yeah i suspect something like that you've probably just gone past them and like picked them up on a song or something yeah so i i i think i believe i've heard them probably collabing in the back with with other artists uh even if i haven't totally focused on them individually which maybe i might yeah. have to go and which maybe i'll have to go and do yeah give them a listen definitely worth it definitely worth uh, there's it. another there's another orchestra that I, well, I find is freaking awesome in japan and i can i can't remember the, the i'm so bad with names uh, but they cover like uh, like video game music, and they do like full I... on. Um, full I heard on, about this. Yeah, full on like movie soundtracks and stuff. And they do concerts and stuff actually in Tokyo, um, and apparently that's really really good to go and see as well. I, I live quite close to a concert hall, like very close to a concert hall actually, and I think they've played there a few <laughs> times. Um, let's just see if I can find a Japanese orchestra video game music. Just see if it's something comes up straight away um i think oh it's actually called japan game music orchestra there you go there you go that's easy enough to remember but they yeah they do they yeah. do they do a lot of um like just general like movie covers and video game stuff but apparently it's a really really good thing and very popular over there is that your next summer option by the way or is that just no no talking? no uh my next summer option i'm i when i think like summer like i'm thinking of like the scenarios that come out with like summer yeah, like, no, like, I, aka yeah. with the beach like Aki Band with the Sakuras and stuff like that. I know that one was maybe cheating. Like but this one, for me... No, your just... options are good. So far, you're nailing this, man. <laughs> free for free. This is solid. For, for this one, I, I imagine, again, like nighttime, cool, kind of like summer air where it's a little bit cooler, open stage outside. All right. All right. All right. Razor Sulin. Lots of glow sticks in the, in the nighttime sky. Bouncy music. And something a little bit different as well. Okay. Anime based, having all the anime girls on the screens and stuff as the music plays and everybody's bouncing with the glow sticks on a, on a summer night and an outside gig. I think that would be just, just, just something I, I, amazing and different. Yeah, for me that's a very universal one. I think that's one where I don't know. In a way, I maybe I think because their music's so hyper, I'd probably want to go see them when it's a little bit cooler. Because yes, when it's like you, you when it's hot, I might boil and die. You could definitely put them inside a big st arena, and you probably have the same experience. But on like that, okay. like an outside venue for them, I just think would be really cool on a, on a nice, nice summer summer night or evening when it's dark. Well, it has to be dark, and so it's a little bit cooler. And obviously, have the glow sticks on full full effect with, with the crowd and the lights and the uh, stage, and just having like a a two hour show from them on a on a on a summer evening just. Yeah, no, I'm, I'd be excited for that. I'd be vibing for that. And again, something quintessentially different as well. A little bit out there, obviously, with the with the Bang Dream franchise and stuff like that. Um, again, something you'd have to. Again, something that I'd want to see in Japan. That's like you can really kind of only experience there with like the full crowd and everybody loving it. And uh, I think that sort of aspect as well. When you look at those groups who are uh, kind of like the Bang Dream groups, especially when they've got that whole um the fandom is it's weird because it's the it's it's not just your standard rock fandom it's like uh and we said it's about babe metal as well but more so with like ray Sullen. so i've been told of the way i pronounce it but i can't help it i'm pronouncing Sullen, it Sullen, Sullen. Yeah, yeah there's Sullen, so many ways Sullen, yeah 
um raz raz um the whole deal with raz is that um their fandom is kind of like it's a little bit anime it's a little bit j-pop it's a little bit rock so like you say you get those kind of like glow sticks and you get that mm. um slightly different vibe so yeah I, I i get that i think that's a i think that's a really cool choice actually um i would certainly be down for a little bit of that i think definitely yeah um okay so um all right, I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna throw in a bit of a, a left field one here. Ooh. Very, very popular artist, but um. So here's the thing, right? The stereotype that we often have of summertime music, um, and we're talking about music that you can enjoy at a show, but maybe music you can just enjoy enjoy putting on. Mm. It's a bit of a stereotype, but we often think about music with just like a good beat and a good vibe, you know, something where you can just sort of like vibe along to it. You could listen to it driving on your car, you know, <laughs> anything like that, day out. Yeah. Um, and the one that comes to my mind, okay, they do go a little bit crazy sometimes, but I think Wednesday Campanella. Wednesday Campanella's got to be up there. This is like music with a good B. It's always fun. Like Utaha is just like the fucking, she is like the sunshine <laughs> herself. That that woman just like exudes joy from every single inch of her persona. Mm. You know, she's ultimate joy. Even when they do like those slightly heavier, crazier songs, she still does it with this big, like gleeful smile. Yeah. Um, yeah you got some great bangers of songs like uh was it prince shataku i have to remember that probably i think it's prince shataku it's like a famous person so i should probably remember the name mm. but they got that you got edison you know they could dive back into some of the older songs you know <laughs> this is like just a band who i think are just everything that you oh yeah prince shataku sorry shataku you were, <laughs> you were you were close you better at remembering songs than i am i'll give you that yeah so when you say a word that actually means something else that you got a problem uh so <laughs> prince shataku um that was just like a really cool song and i don't know i i just feel like it's that summertime music like dancey music but without a lot of the worst habits of summertime you know like a lot of dancey music you think it's repetitive it's boring it's unimaginative it's maybe a little bit too proud of itself a little bit too cool it's like wednesday campanella they're relaxed they're chilled they're light they're fun but they're also creative and they're still giving you these good dancey songs yeah so i would say wednesday campanella is a general but prince shotoku that's that's definitely a song on the summertime i can imagine <laughs> just popping that out and just being like a smile from ear to ear listening to that song uh that song's a bunch of joy anyway but yeah I, i'd be i'd be down for some wednesday campanella that'd be a good one for me interesting interesting i got a couple of choices i've got two here i'm kind of like weighing backwards and forwards so i'm gonna go for probably the the least popular choice i think out of oh the two. all right i love it and, and I'm, go. gonna, I'm gonna go for um Probably the more decisive one, uh, especially for Howard, because I know I know Howard's thoughts and opinions on it on this band. Oh no, I know. I think I know where you're going with this. Um, it is a uh, Atarashi Gakko. I and... fucking knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just just a bouncy experience and something a little bit crazy, a little bit out there, but also that backlog of songs. Maybe not so much these days in the last like two, three years where they've been a little bit more erratic, a little bit more dancey. But some of their earlier songs were very, very like funky, very, very jazzy yeah. uh, and smooth. But so if you took like their whole discography and, and had like an hour and a half concert with Atarash Gakura, that, that would be just a really good, you know, hot summer day or, or night kind of kind of gig or, e or even just in a venue to be honest it's just something crazy crazy where i feel like you'll come out have like a really really good time be in a really really good upbeat mood and then you, you know hit the bar for a few drinks with your mates after and stuff like that just, just generally have a really really good summer's day um you know and, and a memorable one at that just it just it's just one of those bands that whether you love them or hate them musically, there's no denying that you can't go in there and not come out at least with a smile on your face and in a good upbeat mood after. It's funny because they're obviously they're really good friends with Wednesday Campanella. They've done shows before. They've like danced together on stage and everything. Um, I I I mean, uh, my feelings on uh, uh, Adrashi Gaga are fairly well documented. <laughs> well documented. No, no, because I mean, like I I. You know, I I was a I was really one hundred percent on their side before, and just some of the things that have like some of the ways the decisions in the direction they've gone hasn't been so much to my taste. So if you were saying like beginning of twenty twenty three, end of twenty twenty two, Atarashi Gakko, I'd be like, yeah, one hundred percent. I think now, 
probably I think I would I gotta be honest I would struggle with some of the songs that I know they're gonna want to play at their show mm. and kind of the way that their more their image has been developed I don't think it would so much be my kind of thing anymore which is a shame because I would have probably been really into While it like we're on the subject of that, well, they have just recently announced a new album so they've got another album coming out again well I, I hope it steers them back in the old direction but then again there's always like some asshole like me going well I prefer them back in the day I mean ultimately if their fans like them and they're getting more popular then no one gives a shit what I'm saying and that's good yeah mm -hmm. enjoy what you enjoy but Hey, enjoy what you enjoy, but if you didn't have a good conversation with people who disagreed, there'd be no point for these internet exactly. channels. That's like, why we're here. Like, like I said, so, even, even if you're not like 110% into sold on Atarashi Gakko, just to go for the show alone with the dancing and the craziness and just be upbeat, like a two-hour show I'd for love them to see their old would, stuff, though. Would be, would be good. I'd love to see them do a show of their old stuff. That would be that would really work for me. Mm -hmm. Like just a show of like the old Adarashi Gakko songs with like some of the newer stuff just sort of locked off. <laughs> I'd be I'd be like really down for that as well. That'd be a lot of fun, I think. Um all right, so as we're like on nine minutes left on the free zoom, all hail the free zoom. All um, hail the free zoom. <laughs> um, because we've got like that amount of time left. Um, we're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be the thing now every time someone says free zoom <laughs> you have to yeah um so, <laughs> so the um the one okay i'm gonna add maybe so this is a bit of a weird one because this is a singer who has the same birthday as me right at the beginning of september as with so many other people mm. just remember that people your parents were horny around new year so many people have their birthdays at the beginning of september and she has a birthday show um at the beginning of september every year which i used to go to and i know september is just outside of the traditionally considered summer but it's usually very summery weather especially in japan in september and so i always have this mental association now the, the artist in question uh maybe not so familiar with recent uh adherents of japanese music but if you've been into japanese music for a while you'll be familiar with otsukurai who i've brought up before she's like a legendary artist one of my all-time favorites singer songwriter but the sheer breadth of her music has been amazing. But she's always had a slight steering towards summery lightness. Uh, songs like Peach, Tulip. She's known for her very delicate piano songs, which is what I was thinking about when you mentioned about the Wagaki band once. I can imagine, like, I remember, like, seeing her annual show, her birthday show in the Hibiya Park uh, amphitheater thing. Yeah. And like, you know, just when the lights go down, it's nighttime, you've got the summer stars. And again, that sound of like the little bugs and the cicadas. And then she just goes out to that sound and plays the piano and you get these beautiful melodies. Um, for me, she's uh, very much like a summertime voice. Uh, her upbeat songs like uh, Happy Days is like really upbeat, but it's really heavy. And then you've got like songs like uh, Sacrambo, which she's famous for. Um, you know, there, there's just a lot of summary music around her so i'd say if, yeah again she's one of those ones maybe not a big one for people who recently got into music but um if you've been in japanese music for a while just a reminder yeah go back and open up she I mean she's still around but you know go remind yourself of the classics if you want um and if you listen to i was before but haven't been listening to her recently check out the song more more like yeah. m-o-r-e m-o-r-e that's like that's just like her best song ever in my opinion and that only that came out like a good few years after her biggest uh, uh successes but yeah so I, i'm gonna put forward oats cry i know there's probably not someone you're familiar with but yeah that's the one that i think may hopefully some people in the audience would be like oh yeah i'll, I'll go and, uh, i'll go and check her out for sure nice so uh, I'll try. I'll try and bash uh, my last one out then, quick. Uh, so Let's this, go. Let's go. So I was torn between this one and uh, Atarashi Gakko. Uh, the reason why I picked Atarashi Gakko, even though by popularity they probably only have like one third of the popularity she does, but the I I, I think of Atarashi Gakko as more of a more of an entertainment on the visual side of things. So that's why I went for them first because I didn't know why we don't. We had enough time, but we do. But anyway, she's she's massive. She's a big hit, um, and again, it's one of the one of those artists. I feel like if you see her, if you saw her in a, a, even in an arena in the summer months, it would just be really, really energetic, really up there, and a different experience. And I feel like you'd come out really, really happy. Um, and that is Adele. 
or Adam. Oh shit! I've been mouthing Lisa for the last minute. I was gonna, be, I was, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna pick Lisa. Lisa was definitely one in my in my head. Uh, that has been on my. She was on my mind for the entirety of this video. But I picked Lisa for like so many other videos. I was like, don't use Lisa. Don't use Lisa. Even though she fucking deserves a shout out, by the way. But I, yeah, no, I went for Ado. Um, or Ado, Ado, Ado. Whatever, however you want to say it, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out one day. But um, yeah, I feel like she would be just like peak summer kind of like madness. She's literally the probably the most popular thing in Japan or up there right now uh, in terms of just like utter chaotic, chaotic. And to have like a big summer venue from her with all her tunes just being chaotic in the su- in the summer sun or evening again, would be absolutely amazing. And it's it's one of those artists you kind of have to go and see in your, in your lifetime, I feel. And to do that on a on a, in a nice nice hot summer, just again, where like once the gig's finished, you can go out with your mates and your friends for a few drinks and stuff after, just seems like a like a highlight, I think, for a, for a good yeah. summer. I think so, it's a nice one. So yeah, I, I was torn. I was going. I was torn between a, a, a and a Lisa. To be fair, but I picked Lisa for too many things. Uh, also, <laughs> also another little shout out. Maybe not it's the most popular. Maybe not. Yeah, I, maybe maybe not the most popular artist in the world either. But a little shout out is a uh, Ayami Muto, just because the the song she does. Although very very, very yeah, very very summer girl. Very, very kind of 80s songs, very, very chill vibe. That is like the complete opposite to like the events that I've been saying where you go into like a a small venue or even like a cafe or something like that and you just all chill out with your songs, be a little coffee, just like just let her sing in the corner with like some of her songs and stuff. That's like a completely different kind of kind kind of venue to like all the others we've mentioned. But I like Ayami Moto with like her flowery dresses and stuff like that. I just feel like that would be a would be a really, really cool small summary gig. For sure. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be a real joy. I think, I think as well. I mean, so like with the the adult choice, I think like adult, I I would never think of as being hugely summary, but I think it's more the sheer scale of her popularity that just every time she does a show, it's like an event. Yeah, you know? that, that's that is definitely my thing. More more my thinking towards that is just the popularity, the event, the size of that would just be. It's just one of those things that you mark on your calendar. I think at the minute. Uh, yeah it's hard to miss like the scale of it would just be amazing whereas i feel like all our other picks have been like based like purely around the weather and purely our own preferences i think yeah, I like the, the idea of this video yeah <laughs> yeah like, like the idea of this video i think i know it's just like one of those events that if it was marked in summer you just, it's like unmissable unavoidable it's just there glaring at you until it's until it's been it gone um just, yeah just like that the, you know to the traditional big event like the super bowl of music at the minute you know it's just it's just there it's just a mark on the calendar <laughs> i like that I, I think yeah i think there's something to be said just for sometimes you just want something so big that it like is like a wow moment mm. um just like sort of really grabs your attention i mean where i when i was thinking we've only got two minutes left on the free version of zoom um but we're not thing worthy is... <laughs> of three that's really disturbing when you're not worthy of three <laughs> um, but, so i was thinking there's so many artists i could think of you've got like a summary vibe you've got like artists like chili beans you've got artists like um for the Earth. you know i mean there's ones yeah. behind me special thanks anna gatrick spin um yeah by t-shirts even i think trident maybe are just more of a they're, they're not so much of a summary band they're more heavy but like you've got bands who fit so many moods so I'm just going to round up by um, really saying that if you are in Japan in the summer, I want you to go check out these two bands, Caramel Candid and Sugar Spray, um, because these two bands, um, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing I want to do more with my summer than um, I'm not just try hard. And literally, I can't wait to go see walk out of those hot streets into, like you say, the air conditioned venues full of sweaty people and see local bands who I really love. And um you know what? There's so many bands I really love, but at the moment, Sugar Spray, Caramel Candid, been working with them, and they're just wonderful people, wonderful music. So, yeah, if you're in Japan, go check out a little live house. And if you want any advice on how to do it, get in our communities, talk to us, we'll let you know. But we've only got 30 seconds left before the free version of Zoom. Runs we're not out. Worthy. <laughs> so we're going to tell you to keep, keep your ears to, to the east. And always ask yourself, I go.
Why? Why? Because babe metal in summertime. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but why gold? 